Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am going to show you how to connect with Azure portal. Let's see. To connect with Azure portal, we need to use OAuth credentials. Okay. To configure OAuth credentials, we need client ID, client secret ID, tenant ID from the Azure. Azure portal. Okay, we need to ask uh, the development team from the Azure portal. Okay, these things like client ID, client secret ID, client ID. Okay, as we don't have an Azure team, so I have my own Azure portal. So let's log into that and get application details. Okay, I have logged into the my Azure portal. Okay, and now uh, go to home. Click on Active Directory. Click on Application Registration. Okay. Uh, I have already created a service now application. Click on the service now application. So we can get application ID, client ID, tenant ID, client uh, credentials. We can get it. Okay. Let's uh, configure these things in our service now. Okay, let's log in to your service now instance. Okay. So to configure OAuth credentials, so we need to create application registry. Okay, go to the application registry. In the application registry, click new. Okay, so which one we need to use now we need to connect to a third party OAuth provider okay click on connect to third party OAuth provider name uh let's assume this is an uh, portal azure portal azure azure, azure port okay azure port what is the client ID? okay get a client id from the azure portal this one uh, client ID, copy this one, okay, and paste here, client ID. What is the client secret? Go to here, client secret. So, uh, this is, I think, uh, uh, we can't use these things. Let's uh, delete, delete, uh, delete as we can't get these details okay now i'm creating a new client secret okay expires like 24 months or anything and uh, you can give us like uh, uh something dev service now okay add it so here uh you will get a secret id and value so here, what we need to get, we need to take the value here. Secret ID is this one, but we need to get a value. Copy this value, okay? Copy this value and go on, paste in the client secret, okay? Client secret. Now, which credentials we need to use? Client credentials we need to use, okay? Uh, as an, uh, a basic uh, authorization header. Now we need to get token URL and authorization URL. Okay, so to get we to get token URL and authorization URL, these are the uh, URLs. Okay, in these URLs, uh, you need to give tenant ID. How to get tenant ID? Go to the application. Okay, go back here. Get the tenant ID. You can see the tenant ID. Copy this tenant ID and paste here okay remove these brackets and paste here remove these brackets and paste here okay token url will be this one copy this one and go to our application register okay add it token url and auth url is this one authorize Okay, go to here and paste it. And paste. Okay. 
Now, what else we need? Let's save it, okay? Let's save the configurations. Okay, let's save the configurations. Now, uh, to test this, we need to create a REST messages, okay? Go to the REST messages. REST messages. Create a new REST message here, okay? So it's like Grop API. We are connecting to the Grop of API, okay? What? So we need to get an endpoint, okay? Uh, this is the endpoint, okay? This is the uh, Grop API endpoint, okay? Copy this one, copy this one, and paste in the endpoint, okay? Uh, now, authentication, which one you, we need to use? We need to use OAuth 2.0. We need to use OAuth profile, okay? Click on difference icon. Here we created Azure portal, right? Azure portal default profile is there. We need to add this one and save it and save it okay so uh, after saving this so to check uh, we are getting the uh, what or not click on the get what token under related links okay click on get what token so we got some error okay that is scope is missing from the credential so we need to add Go, okay. Go to the Azure uh, this application registry. Under application registry, there is an what entity scope. Okay, create a scope here. Scope. And what is the what scope? The same endpoint is the what scope. This is the uh, what scope. Save it. And now link this what scope uh, okay scope entities to the default profile okay uh, click on the default profile open this record and here add it what scope uh, what is that uh, scope right scope this one azure portal scope okay click on this one and save it okay now go to again REST messages and click on get OAuth token. So OAuth token flow completed successfully. So we got the OAuth token and it is valid for so and so time. Okay, and it will expire soon. Okay, so this is how uh, you need to get, you need to connect with Azure portal with OAuth credentials. Okay, this is how the configuration needs to be done. In our last in a, in our next videos, we will see how to get users from the Azure portal, how to add user to the Azure portal, how to get groups from the Azure portal, how to add user to the group in the Azure portal. We'll see in upcoming videos. Okay.